So people ask me, what is a soul ascension? How do I know when I'm going through it? And when does this happen and why? You don't have to know anything about astrology or numerology or dharma or karma to know when you're going through a soul ascension. Soul ascensions literally mean you are ascending kind of like grade school to high school and or high school to university. You have finished each grade, which I like to call chapters of your life. And in the midst of a lifetime, you ascend. Suddenly, you've been there, done that, outgrown it, not interested anymore. I don't think I want to hang out with those people. I'm not interested in these conversations. I want to change my career, my job. I've upgraded I want to learn more. I'm a different person. You might change your hair, change your clothing. You might even move. You might even completely move countries. It's a complete change. That doesn't mean you cannot stay with your partner. Your children are still there. You might even remain in the same job. But what happens is a big part of you is excited about it. Now, depending on if you're a fixed personality or you don't like change, then you may struggle with it at the beginning. In my work, they last about a year and a half to two years. And these ascension periods end up with a brand new life. Now, some people spiritually bypass this. They don't want anything to change. They want everything to stay the same, even though they're not happy with it or miserable with their friends. They complain, but they're comfortable with that. And that comfort zone and the fear of the future can have you stuck. Fortunately, the universe gives us two to three, sometimes more chances in a lifetime to have these ascensions. Now, there are chapters within that ascension period. So you may go from one ascension period to another. That could be 10, 20 years. And within those 10 or 20 years are chapters. In those chapters, we are learning new things in order for us to get to that ascension. Usually, these can be uncomfortable. So, for instance, I have a client who's been suffering with drug addiction and mental health issues. And on my raid of medications from the doctors, now she's clean and she's sober and she's got four kids and she's been a single mom. This has not been easy. Now she's got the support of her family, which is amazing. However, this is the st- one of the strongest souls I have ever met. And now she just finished a two-year soul ascension. And she's decided to become a psychologist for drug addiction. So all of those chapters where she was addicted where she was clean, then she was addicted, and then she went on several medications to help her, and then went through periods of suffering because the medications weren't working or they're interacting with each other. Then she went through a divorce and she had a kid, child after child, one of them not planned, but that's okay. Now she can walk the talk, talk the walk. She knows the experiences that these people are going through because she's been there, done that. So although they were painful and she screamed to the heavens, to her God and wondering, why is this happening to me? You know, she didn't really come from a bad upbringing. She had a good mom and a good dad. But this was her soul's path. And she's now enrolled and accepted at university to become a psychologist. This is not bad for her short 32 years of life already. I met many, many clients that are going through this. I've been through this myself. We all have. And so if you're having these little mini chapters that are challenging and they're hard and they're difficult, you're like, why is this happening to me? Rest assured, have faith and hope that you have an ascension period coming. 
And when that begins, you will know because things will shift and change. It may not be as big as going to university or college. It may be telling your partner that you have boundaries around how your family, their family treats you. Maybe around telling your parents that you've evolved past their culture and their religion and you no longer want to meet their needs. You are now going to meet your own needs. No, I'm not going to raise my children the way that you raised me. Not interested. It might be that you tell your boss that you need that raise. And if you don't, I'm looking for another job. Or you start taking a different look at how you take care of your health. I hope this is helpful for you and your soul. May the stars be with you and may all your dreams come true.